Hey everyone, it is time for the good life. Um, we are creating with this paper pack, or if you don't have this paper pack, one of your choice. Um, but I found this paper pack to be lots of fun to create with. It's a very neutral palette um, that would go with any kind of pictures you might have, whether they're very vintage, maybe they're farm life, maybe as I'm doing, they're camping, but you have that, um, just a really cool pattern paper that we can play with today. So let's get started on layout one. So let me tell you what your cuts are going to be. You're going to need a six by 12 twice so one sheet and you're just going to cut it in half then i took a piece of mocha cardstock um and it looks like i used the can't tell my lighting is what it is but it is a one and a quarter by 12 and you're going to need two of those so one and a quarter by 12 and then this is part of your sticker sheet it's a and a larger um, zip strip. It's like an inch long zip strip. No, it's three quarters. So, but it's still you know it's quarter inch more than the other. And then I chose to use this pattern, which is three and a quarter by ten and a half. So three and a quarter by ten and a half, and you're going to need two of those. So everything is two. So that will make it super, super easy for you. And then I wanted to show you a fun technique. Um, and I'm just gonna grab some scratch paper here um, that I did using, it's buried in here, <laughs> but using um, the design elements, this stamp set that I absolutely love. I'm really, really seeing that I am reaching for it more than anything um, as far as adding texture to a page. And so we are going to, we, you and me, <laughs> We are going to put this on a block. So I, you can see I've definitely used it a few times, but that's no big deal. And I am using toffee. I think I, did, I decided mocha was a little too dark for what I wanted. And then you're just going to stamp it like that. I'm going to ink it up again. And you just kind of go off, looks like I wasn't paying attention here, should have went more in there, and just kind of go off, so you kind of build in that look. And you can do it as much as you want, or as little as you want. And then I'm going to get my blending brush here really quick. I find it. I'm sorry for the delay. Oh, it's a lot darker than I thought because I've been using it so much. Um, so this is one of my old blending brushes that I had. So I'm going to ink my blending brush up. And then I'm just going to rub all over this, kind of adding more distress to your image. And if you know, if you've used a brush for a while, you probably have residual ink in there that you can use if good way to clean your brush too right <laughs> get that ink out of there but you get the gist you get to see what I did so let me show you what it looks like before we create 
So I stamped a glob up here and I stamped a little bit up here and then I just took my toffee ink and I rubbed color on it just so it didn't have such a um, stark, for lack of a better word, just a stark stamp on it. You have a little uh, a muted edge to it. And then I am going to take toffee again. Set this aside so I know. I'm gonna move my page out because I don't want. And I'm gonna take and rub color on just the edge. I don't need it going on the paper. And what that does, and here will be a good example to show you. I'm going to flip this over. You can see a boo-boo there. But you can see how these three have ink and this one does not. And the reason it doesn't, because I know it's going to slip into something, so it's no big deal. But you can tell how that gives that edge a crisp look by having that ink on the bottom. Okay, so let me grab my bigger piece here and do the same thing with the toffee. On this time I'm gonna do all four sides. And it doesn't take very much. You just kinda wanna walk it back and forth just trim your paper and it's ready to go and it's keeping with that little bit of distress but it isn't so showy that people are like well what did she do what what did she use so let's oops put some adhesive on here now of course depending on what color you're featuring maybe Maybe toffee isn't the right one, but you get the gist of how it's going to whatever. I mean, I easily could have done harbor, which is what this blue check is. Um, you could have done harbor. Harbor would have been fine too. Um, but I wasn't going that way for the photos I have. And I didn't, as you can see, I didn't put anything in here because I don't want this to take away i still want this little bit of lightness that's on here so i didn't want it so distressed then i have my piece of mocha and i am using this new adhesive tool that is close to my heart and it's re um uh what do you call that refillable and i really like the feel of it it's got a nice texture not texture but a nice um weight in your hand so just like that and then carefully remember which side had ink and which didn't and a little bit goes a long way and we're just kind of bringing it down well it helps if i have this down where it's supposed to be on here And I kind of want it on the half inch mark. So voila, there's our page. So now if you wanted to, you could go ahead and build your second page and it's gonna look like this. <laughs> it's gonna have the paper on the inside, the strip again, and this. So you get the gist. It's a pretty easy pattern this time. And then, um, Shakaru, I actually have um, my pieces of photo mats. And let me tell you, they are, so these are a little bit different than I normally do. And it must have something to do with the paper, the photo. So these are um, three and three quarters by 
five and three quarters. Those two are, and then I think this one is still a four and a quarter by four and a quarter. Okay, so, and look at this. I have photos, shakaroo. So like I said, this is all kind of camping. And I kind of like going a little bit off kilter so it's not so stark because you have all these lines. Now, if you're one of those that can't handle that and you need to do your placement like this, that's fine too. Or like that, that's fine. I mean, it's strictly up to what you want to do. But I kind of like this look and I'm going to go ahead and anchor those down this was a uh, camping trip in Culver Oregon Addison got her first bee sting at the pool and it was extremely warm. And they um, were having problems with their power source in the park. And because it was so warm and so many people using their ACs, it kept blowing. <laughs> <laughs> the power and it was like what <laughs> okay and then remember we had these in the past book we had these great thin cuts I just thought these were so cool and I think I don't know that I want to do that that's the light side but maybe I want to do the light side I'm just kind of playing with these to see if that, that's not bad. Okay, and then I am just going to, because we don't need, I was going to cut them, but I remember now when you cut them, they kind of fall apart, but I think they'll still work. I'm just going to uh, cut these. That way I can get a little more bang for my buck out of the circle. And you know how we are. We don't like having all that bulk and weight. Let's see, I have it down here. The bulk and weight on. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let me put a little adhesive. Um, that bulk and weight really adds to your albums eventually so you always want to be mindful of where you can trim that up I know in my early years it was not something I wanted to do but I'm glad I do it now and again let me put a little adhesive on this Very cool. I like that a lot. Okay, now let me get looking to see what's on the thin cut or the die cuts here. And I am not going to color these. I kind of thought I was going to, but I'm not going to because um, I already have color going and I don't want to add any more, if that makes sense. Well, that didn't work, did it? Oops, that didn't work either. Okay, come on. 
Okay, let's see if we can do this again. I'm just trying to get a glue dot on here. There, much better. Much, much better. And I'm just going to put a couple stars. I um, will probably, well, not probably, I know I will. I will do some journaling. Um, and I can... Um, tuck that in one of these little pockets. I can also put that this is the Culver um, Kale Way, you know, where we stayed. We used to stay here all the time when we were tent camping, so it was kind of fun to come back on the other side of the park and, and be where the um, trailers were, so. Okay, so let's build this second page. And just to save time, I've already built the page. So remember, it was this way, what we just finished. Now we have one going this way. So you're going to put your paper down. You're going to ink up your edges first and then put your paper down. Do a little smushing. Add some texture there. Really fun. I love this paper. Like I said, it's, it's very user-friendly. And then, of course, this is um, a eight and a half by eight and a half piece of harbor because harbor is the color that goes with this. And I have put already put four um, photos on it. Now, you maybe you have more than that you want to put. Then, then make your square compatible but I liked this pattern because I think it showcases um, really well what Let's see, I gotta get that kind of in the kind of kind of kind of kind of in the middle there okay just like that and then again I have the circles and I am going to do opposite, and actually I might. I had cut two more, but I think what I'm going to do is use the two I did. And I think I'm going to bring these down a little bit so they intertwine a little bit more. bit more too like that yes I like that a lot and then um, when we were somewhere over there um, they had these great stickers that talk about maybe they handed them out because it is the state park and I just put it on a piece of white cardstock because of course the sticker is not um, acid free. So I wanted to uh, make sure that it was protecting in case something should ever happen with, you know, my photos and it's not touching my photos per se. And I'm just going to angle it off the edge like that. And then I'm going to grab a couple more stars off my sheet. Maybe I'll just do them off of there. And, you know, I was just looking at this die cut. It has such great things on here. I'm thinking, come on, baby, come on, baby. I'm thinking that because I really, you can see that it has a fence going around where the kids are playing this is the kids doing their thing I almost wonder because see it has all these cool things on here I was wondering if I want to build some fences here
put them up on the... I don't know. I'm going to have to play with that. You'll have to stay tuned and see what the photos look like, right? <laughs> and see the hard copy of it. All right, ladies. Whoop, whoop. That is layout one. It is a fun layout showcasing some very cool um, texture technique up here. Adding some photos. And there you go. All right, ladies, I hope this is inspiring you. As always, everything's on my website. It's also in your book. Can't wait to play with you again. Bye, guys.